Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit the domain settings. So um, if you follow the other tutorial, uh, now you're, you find yourself in this situation. So you set up correctly or uh, the general option system settings, then you create your network structure and then we start to play with the domain. Uh, the domain is the most important part of the of the system. Let's say it's the heart of the Autospot Network Manager because from here you can edit and uh, set all the main uh, most important feature of the system. So we just enter in edit and here we start to analyze this. But before uh, analyzing uh, all this feature, we can open the preview of the system. So open this uh, uh, sub level with the gateway level and click on user interface preview here the system will open another tab and we will see this preview this is what the user will see once they log into the network so in this case i have this template maybe you will have a, uh, just the default template but in another tutorial we will see the, the, the templates and how you can edit but uh, the important thing is just uh, you see this login app and uh, now we start to play with the system so we go back to the settings and we start by analyzing this so on the general data we can set up uh, uh, the name of the domain of course then we have the authentication mode this is very important because here we choose the authentication mode of the system and so the way the user register to our network it could be without registration or password so it could be free we don't collect any information of the user we can save for example and if we go back to the preview and we refresh, you will see that now we have no registration anymore. So we, no, we have no social network, we have any method of the registration. We just have the possibility to log in with just one click. So basically this is what you can do with this authentication mode. We switch back to with registration by the user and we save because I want to show you uh, also other settings here. Um, we have the possibility to choose the template that we want to use. In another tutorial we will see this and the color scheme that uh, is uh, applied to this. But uh, very important is this tab. So data to customize user registration. If we go back for a moment on the preview, you will see that now if we refresh the login app, you will see that we have back the registration. And if we click on uh, this register, you will see that we have this field. So in this case, we just ask for name and email and all the substance of the conditions. Um, let's say that we want to add also the last name. What we need to do is just to go back on the administration, uh, look for the last name, request the last name. You can see that now is set to no. We switch this to yes, we save. If we refresh the login app, so we just close and open again, we go on register and you will see that now we also have the last name. This is really useful because you can create your dynamic form. So you can ask for any information that you want from the user and uh, you can store, of course, this information and export then in order to do some kind of marketing activities or whatever you want. So just remember this. Uh, in order to create this, we go on general data. Authentication mode need to be set with the registration by the user. On data to customize user registration, you create the form that you want. So you just switch to yes. It could be also mandatory or not. It depends on your needs or on the client needs. You can also set other um, interesting options like auto logging at the registration. So after the registration, the user start um, surfing or auto registration. So you have a lot of things to play with and just take a look at this. Also related to this is the external authentication. So I go back to the preview because I want to show you another thing. As you can see here, we have Facebook, Twitter, Google, and LinkedIn. What we can do for the administration is to uh, enable or disable any other social network. Let's say that we want to enable also Instagram. We just check this and save. And always re refreshing the uh, login app we will see that we also have Instagram. Of course, in order to have this working, we need to have all the settings on the um, external authentication need to be uh, properly set. So here on social network, we need to have, for example, the Instagram client ID and all these options need to be filled in order to have the um, social login working. So we go back to the domain settings. Just remember these tabs here on top. You can go back to external or domain with just one click. And um, you can also choose to send an email. So send email notification to the user. If you click here, 
it opens a preview and you can choose what you want to send. We have also the possibility to verify the email. This is another interesting feature that we add on this new version. So the user will be um, locked only if you click on this email that you will receive. So there is also a little trick that you can do in order to associate a little bit of business of connection, free connection to the user in order to receive this, mini this email. And then on the click of the, of the link, the new product will be associated. But we will talk about this on the, on the product uh, tutorial. Just remember this. Then we have the options for the language. Here you can also choose to enable or disable the language. The system will recognize the language of the browser. So if the browser is in Italian, for example, uh, the user will see this in Italian if the language is available. Or here on the right, you can see on this sidebar, you have the connection status, the help, and also the possibility to switch between different languages. So this is an overview of the of the welcome portal. We will talk about this on the, on the template. Um, well, these are um, the most important settings here on the domain. Of course, we have a lot of options here, but uh, as a first uh, test and the first installation, my advice is to set this to with registration by the user and to start play with the form in order to collect information and start to um, work with the social networks. So this is, uh, these are the first steps that you can do in order to, to set up your domain properly. Of course, uh, in order to let the user log in, you need to edit and uh, also uh, add some settings here on this, uh, on the, in this case is a Microtik gateway, but you need to add a specific gateway. We will see this on the next tutorial. Thank you.